Hi everyone, I'm Elizabeth with Drone Blog. We're sharing your drone story and maybe making the world a better place along the way. I'm talking today with Patrick at Flyability. They recently won the UAE Drones for Good Award, earning one million US dollars to develop their search and rescue drone. Patrick, welcome. Thank you for having me. Thank you so much for accepting our invitation. It's an honor. And congratulations on winning the award. What an achievement. Thanks. Yeah, indeed. It's, uh, it's incredible. Uh, we, there's not that many competitions around the world uh, that have such a, such a big award and such a big uh, press connection. So we are really, uh, we're really very, very honored about this award. Great. I'll get into asking a little bit more about that in a minute. Um, but by the way, what did you think of my tagline about making the world a better place? Is that too ambitious? No, that's that's pretty much the well, that's really ambitious, of course. But that's pretty much what the whole composition was about: um, uh, using drones for good, uh, using drones to 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 better, you know, make the world a better place, and having this perception of drones, which is fairly negative in some parts of the world, uh, improving. Yeah, that's what we want to do too, and we're doing it in a much smaller way than you are, but. <laughs> Uh, well, I'm going to get into asking about the award. I really want to hear a lot about that. Um, but I want to hear about you, yourself, and how you got to where you are. So can you tell me a little bit about yourself and how you got into drones and all that? Right. So um, basically, it all started with my co-founder, uh, Adrian uh, Brio, who is, uh, was a PhD in uh, flying robotics in a laboratory in Switzerland and he was focusing on ways to have a robust flight of robots inside and in unstructured environments which uh, I'm sure you know is, is one of the big challenges of flying robotics uh, nowadays. We have very powerful machines to go high up in the sky but when it comes to flying um, inside, uh, well indoors, close to people, close to obstacles, uh, we run out of solution and, and, and a lot of people are currently working on, on this very topic. So he was exploring all the options and um, uh, he found a great product so that we'll probably discuss about uh, a little later. Uh, got a lot of people excited and started growing, growing. We started getting so much attention um, uh, that, uh, you know, he told me, you know, we, we, we have to we have to build a company based on that. Uh, we, it would be it would be a waste if we would let this thing, you know, stay in the university and, and, and being a dead end. And so I, I joined him and we started about a year ago uh, spinning off from the university and taking this project to the market. Ah, oh, that's awesome. So can you tell me a little bit about the project? Um, what is special about this? Uh, right. What's called Gimbal, is that right? Right. Well, that's, that's its nickname for now. Indeed. So what we're, what we're doing actually is instead of solving the problem of flying close to humans and fly and, and close to obstacles with sensors, which is what most people are focusing on, uh, in, uh, having, having LiDAR, having SLAM, having all sorts of different types of sense and avoid techniques to navigate indoors, we instead use a mechanical intelligence. We make our robots um, tolerant to collisions. So basically how it works, it's we have a protective cage around the robot, uh, which happens to be spherical, which is decoupled from the inside of the robot. So that means that in case of a collision, the inside of the robot does not feel the collision, does not, is not disturbed by it, so it keeps its stability. So that means that you can, you can you know, enter in contact with something and fly in contact, you can roll on the floor, and the robot will always remain stable. So basically you use obstacle for guidance instead of avoiding them. So what inspired that design? Um, the original inspiration was from um, actually learning how insects were able to avoid collisions. Uh, that was work performed at Harvard University, Harvard University by my, by my co-founder and um, he you know, found out that actually a lot of collisions were not avoided but they were managing to keep their stability in this uh, uh, upon a collision. And um, why can they do that? Because they're really small, really agile. Um, we realized that we needed either a very, very small robot to mimic those capabilities or to find another mechanical way of keeping stability up on contacts. And that was the, the origin of the project. Oh, that's amazing. So finding inspiration from nature. Mm. 
Um, how uh, how long has the project been in development? So, in terms of research, I would say the project's about four years old, something like that. It's it's hard to really you know tell one part project from the from the other because it's all a continuous. Uh, uh, development iteration of prototype, but I would say that the current technology is about three years old, two years in the lab, and now one year as a um, as a commercial venture. Wow! Oh. So, what have been some of the biggest challenges along the way in this development? Oh God! Um, in terms of uh, technical challenges, we are fighting um, a lot against the weight because we have a system uh, that has to be very robust. Because as you enter in contact with those objects, of course, there's collisions, there's, there's big forces involved, so you need to be very, very robust. And at the same time, you need to be very light. So how do you how do, you do that? You need very advanced materials. Um, and, uh, and I would say this is, this is probably the biggest challenge, finding the right materials. Uh, we're using carbon fiber a lot to, to make sure that we're rigid, stiff, solid, but at the same time really light. So you mentioned those are, you had some mechanical challenges. What other challenges have you had? Well, building uh, building a new company does not uh, come with no without hurdles. So um, it's all about you know uh, finding the, the the right partners, the right uh, uh, the right employees, uh, uh -huh. the right investors, uh, getting everybody uh, working in the same direction, communicating your your vision to the team, um, and I think. We're 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 now we're we're now very well set up to to start you know working uh, uh, completely focused on on these technical challenges because we have our offices we have our team we have our investors um, thanks to the to this com competition we have we have even more resources available to make this a reality by uh, by the end of the year so um, so uh, I I think I think we're really really good to go now yeah so how did you how did your team come together. So we are uh, originally we are two we were two co-founders so uh, Adrian and myself and um, the, the the rest of the people we hired them you know one after the other we're now a team of nine people as of mm -hmm. today um, it is mostly engineers that we came to know while doing uh, uh, projects during the studies uh, but as well you know just simply job posting on on the internet. And you know, since since the, the 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 attention we got following the competition, we probably received uh, about a uh, hundred uh, applications. So uh, we now uh, you know just need to 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 find the right people, and uh, and uh, we will, we're building a great team here. Yeah, it's, um, you guys are doing some awesome work. So that's exciting. Well, I want to hear about this UAE Drones for Good award. What is it? So it's an initiative that was um, um, promoted by the by the, the 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 prime minister of the UAE, which is the the ruler of uh, of Dubai, um, who are, is really pushing innovation in a lot of different domains in the UAE, um, notably notably drones. Uh, so they're doing a lot of work in, in robotics, they're, they're, they're working on different fields, but this year was the year of drones, and, um, and um, he invited teams from all around the world, but also teams, local teams from the Emirates, uh, so there were actually two parallel competition with local teams and international teams, and uh, you know, they put all, us all together in a, in a, in, in, on a big stage, and uh, and ask us to do a, to do a five minute show demonstrating how we can use drones uh, for you know the good of, of mankind basically. So there were a lot of different uh, suggestions. There were people uh, life rescuing people at sea, uh, people who were uh, doing uh, organ transportation, planting trees, ag uh, precision agriculture. So it was it was really a broad range of applications. With some people using uh, commercially available drones, some people developing their own drones. Everybody has its at its own specialty, and 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 that was really the, the great thing about this award is that um, uh, getting to know teams who are very complementary to what we are doing, as we are focusing on the platform, and some other team are focusing on the payload, some other team are focusing on the application. 
Yeah, it sounds like there's quite a variety of people that were involved there. So how did you hear about this uh, competition or, or initiative? How did you get connected? Um, I must say I don't really remember. I think I think it was you know it was on 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 the the, the drone media, uh, the, the the typical drone blogs where we were uh, that we are following, and we saw this crazy thing about about a, a one million dollar award. Uh, you know, it, it sounded really crazy. It's like, but you know, we have to take a chance. Let's let's send an application and and see how it goes. And that's how it all started. So we got qualified for the for the the, the semifinals and then the finals. And uh, you know, here we are. So how did you feel when you won? Of uh, you, it's you know, like having the opportunity to pitch for a million dollar is something that does not happen a lot in a lifetime. So it's uh, it's uh, a lot of stress before, and as long and during the pitch, you're pitching the royal family, so that's always an additional stress, I would say. Uh -huh. uh, we have all the uh, uh, all this uh, this family with all the bodyguards and, and and everything in front of you. It's uh, it's an added uh, uh, difficulty, and then you have, of course, when you're doing. Uh, work with with drones, with with playing with the boundaries of technology. You know that a lot of things can go wrong. It's really tense because you know it, just uh, one missing screw or uh, one empty battery, or it shouldn't be empty, and 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 you're done. So that's a lot of pressure. And then when you win, you just don't realize it's it's. You always sometimes dream about you know winning the lottery and 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 trying to guess how you would react. Well, you just don't know, and even when it happens to you, you still don't know how to react. You just, oh my God, <laughs> what yeah. does that? Mean? Has it sunk in yet? Um, then I would say the price, the the, the money part of the price has, uh, but what we are dealing with right now is the uh, a never-ending uh, flow of uh, requests for, you know, uh, buying all, all buying all products or yes. applying to a company. Um, a lot of people who are just expressing support for what we're doing, and uh, and and this is ongoing. And uh, I can I can spend as much time as I want in front of my email responding. Uh, there's even there's just more every time. So this is really a great moment, and this is a great opportunity uh, for us to, to to show what we're doing, to show um, uh, where this, this direction, this vision we have for for drones in the future. And uh, we're really grateful to have this opportunity. Yeah, and probably just like when you do win the lottery, everybody is your best friend. They all want a piece of it. Uh, there is indeed a uh, lot of uh, all the people, um, you know, people from our past who who come back to us indeed. But that's that's part of the game, and uh, yeah, yeah good, just be positive. So here's a personal question for your company: How are you going to use the money? So uh, we were planning on raising uh, uh, a Series A of about two million dollars this year. So this is going to um, this is going to help this uh, to speed up this uh, this process of, of raising money. We'll probably have to to raise a little less this year, but our plans remain unchanged, which is uh, getting this pro this prototype into a product by the by the end of the year. Basically, we want to to organize a launch of a of a professional product based on this technology by end 2015. Great. Well, best of luck to you. So, just one last question. How, what applications do you envision for this project? So, the, the main goal was search and rescue, but what else can it be used for? Right. Originally, um, our, our first customers are in industrial inspection, actually. In all those situations where you have a, a, a place which is dangerous for humans, which is hard to access, for example, because you need scaffolding, or you need rope access, or you need bucket trucks, and you just need to, to, to see if, if there's something broken, if everything is all right, uh, and, and this is a perfect place to, to use this technology. Uh, let me take an example. You want to inspect under the deck of a metallic bridge, for instance. It's it's really very difficult to get to get up there. It takes a long time. With this robot, you can just drive up, uh, have it navigate around the metallic structure, gather pictures of all the potential defects that you find, and the inspection of your bridge is done in a few minutes' time. And there's 
virtually no equipment uh, apart from the drone that you can easily uh, put in the trunk of your car. So this is one application, this, this whole uh, search, uh, this whole uh, industrial inspection. It can also be used in oil and gas industry, inside refineries, inside the power plants, um, inside vessels, oil and gas vessels, chemical vessels. This is one big market uh, right now that is that a lot of people are focusing on, a uh, lot of interest from the large companies. And uh, another one would be entertainment, because that's the first feedback we get when people see our drone. Is like, you know, this is this seems such a fun tool. I want to play with it. Um, yeah, it does look like a lot of fun. Yeah, indeed. So we are uh, uh, we're finding ways to make this technology much cheaper, because um, as I said, we're using a lot of very advanced materials, which are which are quite quite expensive and quite difficult to mass produce. So we're we're in the process of finding ways of making this uh, uh, more um, cheaper to produce and and you know being able to deliver a, a mass market version that everybody would be able to to play with and uh, interact with have it you know flying around the house. Um, so th th these are I would say our our main target markets. Yeah, what what is the price point right now that you project? But it's, it's really hard to say because it depends a lot on what you put on board the drone. The drone itself mm -hmm. is, is not that expensive, but if you want to be able to do indoor inspection, you need very expen expensive transmission system. Uh, if you are operating a low light, you need quite expensive camera systems. So mm -hmm. in the end of the day, you arrive at a system that, that, is, that is worth uh, uh, several, several tens of uh, thousands of dollars. Um, so, yeah, I... I Something along the lines of uh, twenty to fifty thousand dollars, something like that. Uh, but this is really for a professional product. Of course, yeah. if you are aiming at a mass market, we're trying to go much, much lower. And uh, uh, but this, I don't, I don't, I don't have the answer right now. Yeah. Well, thank thank you so much, Patrick, for taking the time to share your story with us. We're really, really excited about what you're doing, and we wish you all the best. Thank you very much. Well, thanks again.